Hey everybody, welcome to today's Zoo to You. We're at Stone Zoo. We're out here on the Caribbean coast lawn, hanging out with two of my friends, our Gila monsters. So this is Ren and Stimpy. They're Gila monsters. They normally live in the Sierra Madre area near the Jaguars. But today we're outside giving them some sun. So on the right, this one right here, this is Ren and this one's Stimpy. These guys are 30 years old. So that's pretty old for a Gila monster in the wild. They live about 25 to 30 years, but in zoos, they can live up to 40 years. So these guys have a good bit left. They're very spoiled here, so I'm sure they'll live a really long time. Gila monsters are venomous. So if you saw me, I had a snake hook in my hand. We use that to gently handle them and make sure that we stay safe. So if we have to pick them up, we just place it directly behind their head and apply a small amount of pressure so that they can't turn around and bite my hand while I pick them up. It's much safer for them and safer for us. These guys are pretty slow moving. They spend most of their life underground and then they come out to feed every once in a while. They don't need a lot of food. They don't need a lot of energy. They don't have a lot of predators. So they live a pretty lazy lifestyle. As you can tell, they're just hanging out in the sun. They don't feel the need to move around too much. These guys um, are super adapted to living in the desert. They like it when it's nice and hot out. So if you guys come in the summer, you might see us outside with them. But in the winter time, they're gonna stay inside where it's nice and toasty. They'll bask in the sun at 80 to 95 degrees. They'll be nice and toasty. It helps them digest their food. These guys typically uh, will eat small mammals, small birds, lizards, snakes, stuff like that. Um, one of their favorites is actually eggs. So in the wild, they'll go into tortoise burrows and they can actually eat all of the eggs in a tortoise burrow in one sitting. They'll eat a third of their body weight. And these guys typically weigh three to four pounds, so that's a significant amount of food for a small lizard. And then they'll just chill out for a couple months and don't need to eat again, which is pretty cool. These guys also, since they live in the desert, are super adapted to not needing a lot of water. They can consume large amounts of water in one sitting and they have a specialized bladder that allows them to hold water and not excrete it so that they don't need water in the middle of a drought, which is pretty cool. As I said before, they are venomous, um, so they don't have a venom that's gonna kill a human, but it's gonna give you a pretty bad day. It's gonna hurt a lot. So we like to not get bit by them, um, but they don't have fangs like you would think of like a rattlesnake would. So they have grooved teeth on their lower jaw that actually helps suck the blood in and then they, the sorry, the venom into the wound and they'll chew it in and grasp on and hold on. They think that this uh, venom is mostly used as a defense mechanism against predators, but they can use it if they need to, to hunt prey. It's just not super effective. Once they clamp down on something, it's pretty much handled. Um, but this venom is actually really cool. So human scientists, have used it and it produces a certain enzyme that the human body naturally produces but it stays longer in the body so they have used this to create a fake version of that enzyme and produce a type 2 diabetes medication from it it actually had a lot of success in treating type 2 diabetes so that's pretty cool um, these guys are near threatened in their range which is in the southwestern united states and down into mexico um, and if you're in that range and you see these guys, you don't want to touch them or move them, collect them, anything like that, because it's illegal. Um, so they're very protected. We want to keep them around for a long time, but their threats include human encroachment from creating different neighborhoods and roadways, um, which can endanger their habitat. So we want to make sure that they're protected wherever they're found. Okay, so there's not really an easy way to tell. These guys don't have what we call sexual dimorphism, which is something that is a color or a body size or body shape that makes you able to tell the genders apart. So these guys are both boys, they're brothers, but they would look the same as a female Gila monster. In the wild, you would maybe be able to tell a female if she had eggs inside of her because her abdomen would be very round. Are there any other species of venomous lizards? There are. So it was believed for a long time that there was only two species, the Gila monsters and the beaded lizards, but 
with recent research, it's found that most lizard species are probably some sort of venomous. Another one that is really well known is Komodo dragons. And would you be able to tell us one more time what their natural range is? So these guys are in the southwestern United States and Mexico. So Southern California, New Mexico, Nevada, Utah, Arizona. And do you have a favorite animal to work with here at Stone Zoo? Um, well, it's kind of split. These guys are one of my favorites. My other favorite is our Jamaican iguanas, but they're not on exhibit right now. So we're gonna hang out with these guys. All right, thanks guys. And check in tomorrow at 1.30 for another Zoo to You.